students welcome back to the session of the basics of python and now this is part 2 of python operators uh, till now we have already uh, gone through the bitwise operator and next uh, we'll study about the assignment operators and uh, logical operators and we have few more so let's get started and jump to the uh, google collab sheet so let's get started uh with the assignment operator assignment operator it means we have to assign a value to a variable so we have the number of operators first one is equal to operator which is very very basic and it is uh it is an everywhere in every language so as x equals to 5 it means we are assigning a value 5 to x variable and so it is equivalent to this so we have in assignment operators we have some shortcuts also like plus equals to plus equals to means x equals to x plus 5 so it is giving the example x plus equals to 5 which is equals to uh, x equals to x plus 5 in the same way we have uh, difference uh, this uh, shortcut operator for minus shortcut operator for multiplication and shortcut operator for division also with this in the same way we have the shortcut for modulus we have shortcut for floor division for uh, power then for uh, uh, this bitwise and bitwise or with zor and we have shifts also so these are the uh, shortcut operators for all these operators so you can check one by one all these things by taking a very simple examples let's take a look uh, with a simple example you can check it by your own or i can do it in front of you also like x equals to uh, 10 and uh, uh, because i have just started it it will take time to allocate to connect so google is connecting right now and okay it is almost done okay now it's done yes so in next code if i said uh, x multiply is equals to 10 so if i just want to perform it it is saying x equals to x into 10 multiply by 10 and i just after mul after multiplying it after i just want to uh, print the value of x i don't know why it is taking so much of time yeah it's done now so let's take a look on the value of 10 it's 100 okay so what uh, what it has done uh, i have already assigned the value of x as x equals to 10 and after that i said x into is equals to 10 which means x equals to x multiply by 10 so the previous value of x is 10 10 into 10 is 100 so that's why it is printing as 100 in the same way you can try all these operators shortcut operators equal to operators and these are very easy so now move towards the logical operators so we have already started about the logical operators we have and operator we have or operator we have not operator so if uh, you want to learn in it it in a very simple language or means either of the operands can be true like like if i said a or b so if a is true then also the whole uh, expression will give you true if b is true then also it will give you true so either of the operand either a or b can be true then it will give you the true answer but in case of and it is saying a and b a and b means if a as well as b both are true then only it is it will give you the true result otherwise otherwise it will return you false so are you getting or means any of the operand will be true then it will give you the true answer and in case of and both the operands should be true then only it will give you the true answer okay now the last one is not operator not operator means that it will just replicate the answer if the answer is true it will give you false if the answer is false it will give you true so you can see it by using this table see the value of x is true 
false true false it can be 0 or 1 0 rep represents false and 1 represents true so the operand x and operand y so the, these are the two operands between the and operator likewise here the, they have mentioned now if the x is true and y is true in case of y if the both answers are true then only it will return true in other cases see here one is true one is false one is false one is true and both are false in the other cases it will always return false for true only both the operands will true then only it will return you true or in case of or operator it is just opposite it is saying if any of the operand will return the true option it will send you the true otherwise it will give you false so in the first case both are true that's why the answer is true in our case in the second case one is true the x returns true so that's why x or y gives you true in the third case the first one is false but the second one is true so that's why the answer is true but in the case second last one the fall x is false as well as y is also false so none of the value is true that's why it returns you false so you can check it over here now you can see the example a is 10 and p is 20 so the uh, what it returns what is it is asking it is saying a is less than b so you, you have to check the condition whether a is less than b yes it is less than b and a is not equals to b so these two conditions should be true in case of and so then only it will return you true otherwise it will return you false so you can check over there 10 is less than 20 and also 10 is not equals to 20 so both the conditions are true that's why this this case fits in this because though both the conditions are true that's why and will result you in a true option now you can check by using this now i just uh, convert these operators so with the uh, here i'm using less than but in this case i'm using greater than so here it is saying a is greater than b or b is greater than a so in any of the two is uh, any of the two is true it will return you true so uh, a is less than b it will give you false because a is uh, great it is not greater than it is less than now it is saying b is greater than a yes b is greater than a so in both of the two operate operands one is true so it will return you true so let's see the answer the answer is true now see in the last condition this is a very simple one not operator not operator i told you that it will replicate it if the answer is true it will return you false if the answer is false it will return you true so if the value of a is 10 10 means if any value is positive in that case it will always considered as true if i am asking to return a in the boolean value uh, the value of the bo uh, boolean value of a is true why it is true because inside a the positive values is stored if the negative values is stored over there it will return you false so you can check it is saying not a so it will return you false because right now the value inside a is 10 which is positive positive means a the value of a is true and not will replicate the value of true as false so let's try it as minus 10 so if i said minus 10 so let's move toward the new operator which is identity operator which is new over here in python and one more operator we will study that is the membership operator so these two operators are uh, kind of new operator in front of you uh, but uh, the concept is very similar to the previous one which we have already studied in uh, different languages so first one is identity operator in python so here we have used uh, two identity operator is operator and is not operator and one thing which you have keep it uh, keep in your mind is that these operator always give you uh, give you the value true or false it will return you either true or false so is operator and is not operator will check 
two values whether they are located to the same memory location it means if i am having two variables a and b and if i want to check them using is operator is operator will check whether a and b both will be located located at the same memory location or not if both are located at the same memory allocation it will return you true and if they both have different memory allocation it will return you false are you getting what it is so is will return is will check if is operator will check if two values or two variables are located on the same part of the memory or not so it will give you true if the operands are identical means if the two variables refer to the same id or same memory and there is one more operator which is we call it as is not so it will give you true if the operands are not identical it means they are not referring to the same memory okay so let's take an example a simple example a is 10 b is 10 and c is 15 so i'll check whether a is b means the uh, memory location of a and b are equal so is will check whether they both are equal or not let's take an example by running it so both are 10 and both are referring to the same memory id so that's why the answer is true now let's change the uh, positions if i said b is a nothing matters it will give the true because the id of both the variable is same now let's take a look on c and b whether the memory location for both the variables are true c c is 15 and b is 10 so it will check they have allocated with the same memory no they are not allocated with the same memory that's why it will return you false so basically is operator will check whether both the variables are of identical id or memory or not okay in the same way is not will also work is not is saying that both the operands are not referring to the same memory id so c and b they, they both are not referring to the same memory id so it should return true so c is not b true c is not b in the same way i will check a and c you can see a is 10 b is c is 15 so definitely it will return you false and in the same way i'll check is not a is not c so it will return you true because a is 10 and c is 15 both have different memory id so that's why it, it will return you true in the same way if i check a and b so a is not b so it will return you false because a is b both the reference of both the variables are same so that's why is not will return you false in this case so i think it will be clear to you what is the identity operator okay so now next move to towards the membership operator so membership operator it will check whether the particular now element is the member of the sequence okay if it the element is the member of the sequence then it will return you true and if it is not the member of the sequence then it will return you false in the same way we have not in the reverse of in okay so let's check using the examples so in and not in are the membership operators in python and they are used to test whether the variable is found in the sequence so sequence can be string sequence can be list it is tuple set and dictionary okay so let's take an example i have taken one example in which i have taken one array or you can say it list because there is no as such array kind of thing in python so in this list we have cat bat rat and elephant these are the elements of the list and it is stored in the variable arr okay now i'm checking whether cat is there in the sequence so if it is there in the sequence it will return true so cat in sequence uh, arr it is it returns true now i have checked whether one is there in arr so it's not there so that's why it is returning false now i have checked apple is in arr no it's not there so it is returning as false in the same way i'll check for not in so it is saying apple is not in the arr so it's true apple is not the element of arr that's why it is returning true 
so these are the basic things that will help you in the coding to refine the coding about uh, these membership operators so next uh, is also related to the operator we have already done with the operator let's uh, 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 come to know about precedence and associativity. Precedence means the order, okay, whose order, who is more prior in case of number of operators. We have different operators right now. We have studied this uh, bracket parenthesis, we have studied exponent, we have studied multiplication, we have studied division and modulus, we have studied uh, addition, subtraction, bitwise shift, relational operators. All these are uh, these are operators which we have studied till now. And now we have to find out whether uh, who is who is we have to give more priority to which operator. Let's say if I'm taking the example of one expression, if I have um, calculating some expression x equals to a plus b minus c divide uh, e and then uh, exponent of 2 like this so we uh, in this expression I have used plus I have used minus okay and I have used division and I have used exponent so I have used different different operators but right now when we have given this expression to computer which expression should be evaluated first so the order of evaluating the operators will be done by the system in this way the highest priority will be given to the parenthesis and then exponent and then multiplication division and uh, this modulus then plus and minus so in this expression which one is solved first this portion will be solved first exponent after that which will be uh, next this division will be performed next and then plus and minus is given over there they both have the same priority so when the same priority operators are there in the expression then comes the role of associativity in associativity it will tell us when the operators are of same precedence then which operator should be evaluated first so associativity uh, will tell you in which direction the system will evaluate your expression so it is saying if there are parentheses the associativity means the way of evaluating the expression is from left to right in the same way when exponent are there number of exponents are there then the evaluation the system will evaluate it from right to left okay likewise if i said there are only uh, exponents if i replace it like this i think it is visible to you and I replace this by this also. So this is my expression all over there only exponents are there. In this case if uh, this kind of expression is given to the system this will evaluate it from right to left. Okay from this side to this side it is evaluated. Okay so these are the associativity and if in case I have these three operators so I have like I have A into B into C divided by D and modulus 2. So they, uh, these all operators are of same priority. When we have the same priority operators, we have to go towards the associativity. And according to the associ associativity, the system will start executing it. So it will execute from left to right in the same way. When plus minus is there, again it will execute from right, left to right. For bitwise shift also, left to right. And for relational operator also, uh, it will evaluate from left to right okay so i think uh, uh, this is done and we have completed our operators for uh, more queries you can uh, write it down in the comment section and hope you will get all these things in a better way and in next session i will come up with uh, the different topic of python in a very basic way thank you for watching and again if you want a reference for all these things uh, you can refer these uh, 
websites doc.python.org we have tutorials over there they have uh, documents over there they have given you the examples over there you just go through the examples take the tutorials from there uh, get the things from there you'll get a better idea of all the functions everything in detail thank you for watching thank you